uh, it's always important to have white allies uh, who say and do what's right. So we came across this video. So uh, there were folks riding on the train, white woman, a couple of Muslims, uh, and the white woman decides to just show her racist ass. I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, train riding Karen uh, just showed exactly who she is. But wait until the white conductor mm. got in that ass. Watch. This. Smells like feces eaters, doesn't it? <laughs> Say why, hi to TikTok. Why somebody's got a problem. Say hi to TikTok. Racist number one. Yup. Say it louder for her. You're ignorant. I don't sexualize children. That's ignorant. <laughs> and we do. Yeah. And I we do. Say, I didn't say you did. Must have a guilty conscience. No, no, no. Enjoy the white. Like you sat next to us. Talk to them like that. I didn't like anything. Were they talking? What were they? Was she saying stuff she to was you? So racist. Yeah. Yeah. Ignorant You're remarks. Get off the train. I said I, get off of the I train. said I don't sexualize children. I'm not getting off the train because you need I to get said, off of the train. You can't talk to the passengers like that. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm looking out the window. Every person in this car said that you were talking to them like that way. No, I don't know every person in this car, so I don't know what the problem was. You need to get off of the train. All right, look at me. You will never ride my train again. I will look at you and tell you you can't ride. Do you understand that? I can't physically remove you, but I can stop you from getting off. You do not talk to the passengers that I'm way. I'm not talking to them. Yes, you are. So get off in Hartford and do not get back on my train ever again. You see me, walk away. Okay? Thank you. God bless. You know, Maze featuring Frankie Beverly got a song called There's That Look in Your Eye. It's a lot of bigotry in that eye. And, and see, here's what got me. This, this is the one that I really love to hear, Kansas. Oof. Her ass was real bold. She was talking with a chest. Before the conductor came, then he came. Well, I was looking outside the window. I was just, just, I was just <laughs> enjoying the plants and the trees. This is why I love cameras. We get to show these racist bigots, these Karens, these Beckys, these Margarets, exactly who the hell they are, and the Republican congressman from Arizona saying, color people. Mm, mm. And, and you know, what's so heartwarming is the response, as you said, of that conductor. He, he was fair, he was forthright, but he made himself plain that this is not going to happen again. You can act like there's some type of parallel universe where you didn't say this, but we've got witnesses. It was like, it's like he was performing a little mini trial. He had witnesses, you know, he came, he gave his opening and closing argument, gave his decision, and she got her punishment. She's not gonna be allowed on the train anymore. As he said, if you see me, you better turn around. And I think that that was the wonderful part about it, is that you hope somebody will respond that way. Normally we see these videos that go viral and they kind of end up at the same point where somebody's fighting, but you, you don't often see somebody jump in with authority to come and quash it the way that he did. Joe? It's like uh, Moore's Day in Turkow number three. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> I really appreciate it how he came. He was very balanced. And he said, I've listened to these folks and everybody on this train says uh, that you're being a certain way. And it is interesting how she how she how she crammed up. She she wasn't as strong when 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 he came after her like that. And 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 brought and and and, and did the eye thing and everything. I mean it was it was fantastic. I appreciated him being an ally that way uh, because it's about making people feel safe. Now, what is this person going to do anyway? She's not, in, you know, she, she, you know, why is her entitlement what it actually is? This just lets you know how folks think. Um, and so I'm really glad that uh, he had those, we had that advocate show up in that particular situation. And hopefully that kind of thing can happen more often. Larry? She messed around and, and found out. And we need more of that. We need more allies to come, you know, our defense, whether, you know, a situation on trains, in classrooms, in board rooms. We need more allyship like this. And, you know, credit to him for doing the right thing. That's exactly what we should have done. 
But Roman, this is another example of people from minoritized backgrounds through our country in terms of the, the challenges we encounter and just basically living our lives. So mm-hmm. the other thing is when things like this happen, everyone go live. If say and, and say it with your chest, as Dr. Carl likes to say a lot. So go live and you know, we need to keep tweeting this out and you know, people will watch watching your show now. And we need to make sure we find out all information and, you know, let her employer know how she's behaving. Yeah, just, you know, I'm looking outside the window. I mean, I wouldn't talk to anybody. <laughs> like, I'm looking outside the window. Like, why, why are you talking to me? 